For the next three days, I will be traveling in the kingdom of Cambodia. I will be touring the mystical temples of Angkor on a bike. Angkor is the world's largest religious monument and protected as a world heritage center. It is spread in an astonishing 1,000 square kilometers of area. So let's put on some serious tribal music and enter the jungle. Angkor is a symbol of national pride for Cambodia. It even appears on their national flag. By the passage of time, many parts of the temple were lost in the deep forest. Even as of today, people find new temples, artifacts and statues. This is the temple. This one temple. Ah, this is, we are here. Uh, yes. Jiko said maybe uh, seven hundred meter. You will see. 
Just like the temples, the history of Angkor is also quite impressive. The rise and decline of Khmer Empire, changing of faiths and religions, and the beautiful mix of Hinduism and Buddhism. The Khmer civilization saw its demise in the 15th century. They left the Angkor temples behind in the dense forest to be later discovered by the world of today. For me, Angkor is a perfect place for cycling. So if you are a regular cyclist, you should definitely add this to your list. The same thing you can rent cycles yeah. here for like mm -hmm. 2 to 4 dollars a day. I mean that's a very good value for money. Yeah. With the bike, you can experience an alternate version of Angkor. You can explore the dense forest, empty roads, good music, people and plenty of unknown places. You can know and see a lot about places online or on books, but if you want to smell it, you have to visit it yourself. <laughs> 